I want to say hello to a person who's visiting Washington, D.C. for a long time, hopefully, right? Well, back and forth, yes. Back and forth, yes. Yeah. You're a jet setter, as they say. More or less. No, less. More, more less. than more. And look at this. Uh, we've got other folks coming in the door, too. This is uh, a place called Poppy, which is in Georgetown. And Elena is here, and uh, she's taking a look around. And we wanted to see what she thought of some of the work and maybe something that might fit her. And I was curious what you've seen that you think might be your style, if you will. I think I've seen many things around here that could be my style. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I like the... The general architecture here, mm. the colors, Clean, the it? white and the red, that's mm. absolutely my color combination. Mm -hmm. I love it. I have it at home as well. Mm. And people who know me closely, mm -hmm. they're always saying if they see something white and, and red, they mm -hmm. see this is your style. Wow. So, yeah. So I, I came in here and that's the first impression I got. This is really my So you were naturally drawn to the place just based on the coloration. Right, that's all. right, exactly. And then plus, of course, um, I like jewelry in mm -hmm. general. And what I see here is uh, many beautiful things. Um, I'm also very much into nature <laughs> as, a, as a scientist, as a biologist. Mm -hmm. So here, for example, we see a lot of things that uh, come out of deep water, mm -hmm. shells. And, like this uh, piece here? That's interesting. Right. That's a real I, I love things like that, and I wonder, I'm not quite sure if it's real. Mm. I, I would like to ask. You want to touch? You want to touch it? Maybe we should ask the uh, proprietor here. There she is uh, doing some arrangement, making some arrangements. Some arrangements. Yes. Well, she'll be over in a moment, and she'll uh, unlock the mystery of the texture of this piece. But this right here, these, these two pieces, does that look like something that you can see yourself as in, in, in terms of a necklace you see yourself wearing? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. What else do you think would be a complement to that? Uh, what else do you see that... Let me see. Of course, it, it's all good. There, I know there, there are so many beautiful things, so it's really hard to make a decision there. This is more Bernstein. This would be what about this? this is, is this a bro? Oh, no, this is a ring also. Yeah, this is quite impressive. That's it's very big. Though. Looks like a looks like a mood ring, like the old mood rings. I don't know if you remember that one, but uh, mm. these are earrings. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. That looks like a mood ring to me as well. To all you baby boomers out there who know what I'm talking about, uh, this is a another <laughs> necklace, but it's a different kind of clasp on here. Right? And then this, let's see what this looks like. Can you imagine? Just try that on for a second and see. Is that your style? Hello? Yeah, it, it would be definitely my style. Okay. Let's see, see how she looks. If she, I see a flash of elegance yeah. coming here. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. Oh, everybody get the picture here. And uh, now, that's nice. And then we've got something here that looks like a little bit different but still contemporary in a way. So all of it's quite beautiful. I would like to ask our proprietor here, she's standing over in front of the table, what she thinks is uh, some of her more interesting work. But of course, she's a rearranging thing. Let's go over and see what she's talking about. Okay, this is from, uh, let me take a little walk over. This is uh, artist is from out west, I believe. Santa Fe. Okay, yes. New Mexico. Yes. And is this typical of the kind of work that you carry, or just how does this um, compare to? This is I'm. Uh, yes, it is typical. Okay. Um, it's art jewelry versus fine jewelry. So mm -hmm. here you have an artist, and she's doing fan materials, which is um, paint brushes. Mm -hmm. She also works with felt, um, and you can see it's sterling silver, which is oxidized, so it's darkened. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she also does more um, traditional, contemporary silver gold pieces too. Mm -hmm. um, and she is an amazing artist. She has been featured in many art magazines and publications, niche um, craft, and all sorts of different publications. So, no, yeah. this looks like a, a paintbrush or some kind of a, are, maybe they're, a they're mascara paint. applicator or something yeah, like. Yeah, they're paintbrushes. Ah. So, um, so she uses different. Uh, paintbrushes too. Let's try one of these on. Would you like to try one of these on? Let's see what. Uh, uh, one of this. Yeah, let's try one of these. Can I go ahead? Yeah, like? 
I'm going to be the big one. Yeah, well. <laughs> Go for the, the gusto, so to speak. In the meantime, can you kind of explain the theme behind your work? I mean, is there, how do you connect the dots, so to speak? Of my work, personally? Yeah, the work that you carry here. Well, you have your own work. You design your own yeah. work. Yeah, so the, um, the pieces that I have, um, the artists that I hold, the majority are, they're trained traditionally as metalsmiths. Mm -hmm. um, I pluck a lot of them freshly out of school, mm -hmm. or they are self-trained, but um, nonetheless, they are metal, they work with metal. Mm -hmm. um, they set stones, or they set, you know, found objects. Um, but no matter what they do, they're still doing soldering, they're forging, they're fabricating with their hands. Um, which to me is the real craft. Mm. So they're designing, so as you can see the designs, but then they also have the, the true um, knowledge and aspect of what metal smithing is, which mm. is the fabrication side. So. And so look at this, voila. Yeah. That's actually uh, really neat, an attention yeah. getter. Yeah. Huh. How's it feel? It, it, it feels good, it's very light. Uh, so. Light and fluffy. <laughs> so it's fair, so it's yeah. Very light. yeah. So could you see wearing something like this yeah, like that to an event or something? Yeah. 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 And you absolutely. can always supply something if you wanted to. Yeah, right. Doubles it's it. Very practical, so you want to put on some is it soft? Let me see, yeah, let me see how this feels. Soft. Okay. Yeah. This is, uh, there it is. It does feel good. Let's um, try it. Do a little makeup application here. Nice. Very nice. I wonder what type of hair it is, but yeah, it's very soft. Yeah. It's, it's, it's real hair. Hmm. I almost want to say it suits you, but it seems like everything in here looks good on you. So... Maybe this well, is your kind of place. <laughs> we'll have to work out a contractual relationship and have you model, model some of these things here. What do you think of some of the, uh, the lighter uh, sculptural pieces of here? Well, since I especially like this, the color of silver, mm -hmm. uh, I like all of the section very much. And um, I like big earrings, so these ones here, mm -hmm. I think are, are very, very And you're wearing beautiful. some nice earrings tonight as well. They are nothing compared to <laughs> What's the materials here? Are these, uh, is a certain kind sterling of metal? Silver. Silver, sterling silver. Yeah. Which? Um, you have oxidized sterling silver, mm -hmm. um, which is the darker silver. Um, for instance, this ring. You have a nice oxidation right here. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see the blackened mm -hmm. part. And then you have um, the contrast, which is the sterling silver. Um, this is a matte finish silver where there's no... Um, polish so this is come straight out of the pickle which is the acid bath that you put silver in after you heat it up mm -hmm. um, and then that's that so this is um before the polishing mm -hmm. stage is it to wear in the hair or? and this is actually um you can it's a pin so it's a brooch oh, um but yeah, you can actually you can wear it in the hair too yeah. which right. i have indeed tried it out everything i have on the shelf i actually try out before. I wear it for normally a day or an event. So then I know if it's comfortable or mm. if it looks so good. Nice. Mm -hmm. or, it's so good. Yeah. Mm. So. Folks, are you getting the impression that uh, she looks good in everything she wears? No. <laughs> I do not. I was on Biz Now last night and I saw the photo and they're not very... Did they run it? Yeah. <laughs> Not the most exciting okay, well, person. everyone go to uh, Biz Now. Is the real estate or the ladies edition or the scene? Biz, the, the scene. Biz okay, now, yeah. the scene. Well, the, you know, Biz Now has different editions. So, but, uh, just well, wanna... I don't know if I would be in the real estate edition. But well, yes. nice piece of real estate that you're, uh, de designed, you've is. designed here. It's a beautiful piece of real estate here. Indeed. Yeah. So we just want everyone to know where you are, Heidi, so if you can give out your address and the website. My, I am in the heart of Georgetown, mm -hmm. which is 3235 P Street, which is three doors down from Wisconsin. If you know Thomas Sweet, where Thomas Sweet mm -hmm, is, sure. go and grab a, you know, bite of ice cream, travel on down here and buy some jewelry. Beautiful. And um, the website is poppymetals.com. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Really. Like and that. by the way, she does have poppy uh, for sale and... Um, these are something that you can decorate your vase with. And actually, mm -hmm. I started selling them because so many people came in wanting to buy my decor. Mm -hmm. and so I started to um, purchase them. Poppy is going to be a trademark with you. It is. Yeah. It is. Take it to the hilt, right? Take it to the what? To the hilt. Take it to the hilt. To the farthest reaches of the planet. To the <laughs> okay. All right. Signing out. <laughs> All right. Thank you for talking.